Good evening and welcome to Wednesday Evening Devotionals. Uh, we are moving uh, rapidly toward Christmas. Of course, children awaiting gifts wonder if Christmas will ever come. Uh, those of us who are adults, parents and grandparents who are purchasing gifts sometimes uh, move toward a frantic pace, uh, both online and in person, as we try to get the last uh, perfect gift for every person on our list. But in the church, we are not thinking so much about uh, the frantic pace, but a little slower pace. As we move through this Advent season, as we light the candles uh, on the Advent wreath, the candles of hope and love and joy and peace, and finally the Christ candle, reminding us that Christ came into the world to bring light, to bring hope, to bring love, to bring joy, and to bring peace. And so our tradition in, in, in many congregations these days is to light the candles of the Advent wreath. I confess, uh, when I grew up, we did not have an Advent wreath, but we had preparation for Christmas in other ways, uh, and we have always decorated trees and, and had uh, the lighting, many lights and poinsettias, et cetera, et cetera. One of the favorite uh, tr Christmas traditions of many people is singing Christmas carols. Uh, sometimes choirs or ensembles will go out and sing Christmas carols. I did that a couple of years ago. I sort of stu stood in the background and moved my mouth and tried not to sing loudly uh, in order to not disrupt the beautiful music other people were making. But it's a, it's a great tradition to sing Christmas carols, both to go caroling for those who cannot get out, but also to sing Christmas carols in the church. One of our favorite Christmas carols, uh, a favorite through the decades, is Silent Night. Silent Night was penned by Joseph Moore, and uh, the music was written by Franz Gruber a little over 200 years ago. It's a song about a calm and bright, silent night and the wonder of a tender and mild newborn child. Uh, how did this simple melody, with its words of comfort, become a beloved hymn of peace throughout the world? It was a little over 200 years ago, as I said, that Silent Night was first heard by an Austrian villagers attending a Christmas Eve Mass in the St. Nicholas Church in Obendorf. The backstory is that a priest went for a walk before he wrote it, and he looked out over the very quiet, winter-laden town, and he was inspired by the town that was at peace. My family and I have visited some of these Austrian towns, uh, not in the winter, but in the summer, and they can be quite peaceful. And I can only imagine the snow-laden Alps and the valleys and the peace. It was Christmas Eve, 1818, when the now famous carol was first performed. Uh, of course, uh, performing it in Austria it was not called Silent Night. That is the translation. Still Nicht. Joseph Moyer, or Joseph Moore, the young priest who wrote the lyrics, played the guitar and sang along with Franz Xavier Gruber, the choir director who had written the melody. An organ builder and repairman working at the church took a copy of this six-verse song to his home village. There it was picked up and spread by two families of traveling folk singers. 
They performed around the northern part of Europe. And in 1834, the Strasser family performed it for the King of Prussia. In 1839, the Rainier family of singers debuted the carol outside Trinity Church in New York City. The composition evolved, and it was translated into over 300 languages with many different arrangements for various voices and ensembles. It was sung in churches, in town squares, and even on the battlefield in World War I when it was sung in three languages on Christmas Eve, Silent Night, Holy Night, as the soldiers held their fire and sang in English and French and German. Over the years, the carol's mystique grew with its popularity. After the original manuscript was actually lost for decades, some speculated that the music had been written by Haydn or Mozart or maybe even Beethoven. But in 1994, uh, those uh, myths were put to rest when an original manuscript was found in Moore's handwriting with Gruber named as the composer. Today, the Franz Xavier Gruber Museum and the Joseph Moore School in Austria honor the creators of this classic carol. The Silent Night Society hosts a virtual Silent Night Museum. It tracks events and it promotes the use of all six verses, which in the words of the Silent Night president, quote, encourage peace and demand responsibility for the globe. I like that. Silent Night is a challenge. It encourages peace. It demands responsibility. The English version is typically sung in three verses, corresponding with the original verse 1, 6, and 2. And so let me, instead of singing it to you tonight, let me read you the verses as we often sing them. <clears throat> Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar, heavenly hosts sing, Alleluia, Christ the Savior is born, Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Our church has a tradition on Christmas Eve. It's been followed for years, except, of course, this past year when we were not able to have uh, a live and in-person Christmas Eve service. But the Christmas Eve service is held early enough for children to come, and people come with families. It's a large crowd. Everybody's given a candle, and after the service, everybody in the congregation lines up around the wall, sometimes more than one deep, but often just one deep, two deep, around the wall with their candles unlit and then as the lights are dimmed in the sanctuary the pastor begins to pass the light from the Christ candle to people and and it spreads out around the sanctuary and the lights are turned off except the light of Christ that is showing brightly in the sanctuary and gleaming off of the faces of people in our congregation. And then we close the service by singing Silent Night, Holy Night. All is calm, all is bright. Round young virgin, mother and child, holy infant, so tender and mild. This is 
loves pure light. It is a light of peace. We as Christians have the responsibility to practice and the responsibility to share. So tonight, uh, as we continue to move toward Christmas, I'd like to give you a benediction of peace. Be people of peace. Let peace live in your heart and share the peace of Christ with all you meet. Share peace by acting out of compassion and not fear. Share peace by listening to all sides of the story. Share peace by praying for the world. In this Advent season, we need to see, feel, and share peace. And so as you go into the wonder of God's creation, share peace and hope with those you meet. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Silent night, holy night, Son of God loves pure light. Would you be a, a beacon of that light? And, and in this busy, busy season, as we rush to Christmas, my prayer for you is that you would just take a moment and be silent. Maybe recite or sing the words of Silent Night and allow Christ's light and peace to be in your heart and then share that with others as you go about your daily tasks. Amen and amen. Good evening.